Luca Marini indicated his desire to get out of his comfort zone for his big dream in MotoGP. He was ready to leave the VR46 team. Marini himself has always strengthened the VR46 team from 2018 in the Moto2 class to MotoGP since 2021. Next year, he will undergo his seventh consecutive season with VR46. Marini realized that he had to be able to get out of his comfort zone and let go of his attachment to the shadow of his older brother, Valentino Rossi. Of course, leaving VR46 is something I have to do. I have to make my own way, he said. In my current team, I am very professional, I work 100% every day to achieve the best results. But when the time comes, I will try to join the factory team, because I have great confidence in developing the bike. I think I have an extraordinary sensitivity that very few drivers have. I feel I can work very well in the garage with the engineers. My feelings are very clear and I can explain very well in all languages and say what the bike needs. The dream of becoming MotoGP world champion is in Luca Marini's mind. Even though he wants to leave VR46, Marini will not do so next season. The real offer has come. Sky Sport Italia reported that the Repsol Honda team manager, Alberto Puig, had met Marini to ask him to join. Of course. Yes, 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 but we have to do it gradually, said Marini about whether becoming MotoGP world champion was a realistic target for him. The next step is to win races. Next is joining a factory team, to develop a good bike that is perfect for my riding style. Of course, at the moment I feel very comfortable with the Ducati, motorcycle, he added. If the rumors are true, I will be happy, said Valentino Rossi's brother. But I already have a contract with VR46, and there is no, out, clause to exploit. On the other hands, Jack Miller was left frustrated after the Thailand MotoGP having, tried fuck everything I could, to match teammate Brad Bender's prowess. KTM's Bender finished on the podium and was part of the sensational three-way fight with Jorge Martin and Francesco Bagnaia for the victory. But Jack Miller languished in 16th after a race he'd rather forget. A long old race, Miller said. I gave it, pretty much, everything I could. I've been struggling all weekend at turn 1 and 3. The middle section was alright. Just real slow in the first sector. The bike didn't feel terrible but, every time we put this casing on, I suffer. I can't find a way to get it to drive. It wasn't like that, for me, in the past. It's a head-scratching moment. I'm missing a bit of top speed. I couldn't get close to a Yamaha. Either I go on a lettuce diet this week, or we find a bit of horsepower. A bit of both would be good. I didn't make any mistakes. I was able to hang with those boys for a bit but lost speed when the tire dropped off. Disappointing weekend, not the result we wanted. Clearly the bike is working well with Brad's result. We need to work harder. Asked what his teammate Binder did so well, Miller replied, Sector 1. He's been fast there all weekend, two tenths quicker than anybody else. And even in the second sector. I tried fuck every which way, but to change my line, try a different style, pick the bike up which wasn't working great in terms of getting it onto the thinner rubber. I tried the lean angle, I tried short shifting. I tried fuck everything I could. We've got a little bit of work to do. I'm disappointed. The boys are working hard so to not bring home a point is disappointing. It's MotoGP these days. 14 points off and we're out of the points. Pace was decent. I used the same set of tires as I did in the sprint but couldn't get close in terms of lap time. Asked if he frustrated by his wheels spinning, Jack Miller said, yeah, but not a massive amount. It's not going forwards. I'm losing two to three bike lengths every time we come off the corner. You are carrying that the whole straight. If you try to set up a pass, set up a move, you're already risking life and limb trying to pass, these days. If you try to make up three or four bike lengths, it gets pretty hairy, pretty difficult to make a pass.